Hi everyone, Wendy Spanish Crafter here. I'm here today to show you another little idea for a mini book from your scraps of paper. Um, this came about because these three pieces here were sent to me in a swap that was just all one piece of paper and it was just pieces that the lady had stuck on um, on together, just little embellishment. So I just added some little parchment flowers on this one and I thought, right, I didn't want to put it in as a page, so I thought, what can I do with it? So I just felt, cut, cut the paper up and folded and then put some of my scraps of coffee stained paper in a concertina fold again and they just make little mini books to go in the journal and I thought they were quite pretty doesn't really matter which way you stick it in so instead of stapling or anything these are actually glued onto the back page and these are two more that I made uh, these are GK's fussy cuts which I thought were nice and pretty and so you've got more journaling space in your in a little sweet ephemera there so all I did to make them very very simple this is part of a decoupaged board. Uh, I just use a children's book at the side of me and then I just stick all my pieces of paper on. So I thought I would use that. So I cut it into six centimetre strips and then I cut the strip into 10 centimetres by six centimetres and then cut my piece of coffee stained paper. Normally I would use scraps out of my box, but I've used them all for my these other books that I made yesterday. So I've cut a piece of A4 coffee dyed paper into five and a half centimeter strip. And then I just gauge the size of the page and start folding. And I thought these will be nice included in a, can go, be glued into the page or they can go into a little envelope or into a little corner tuck. So just concertina fold, try and keep the sides neat. And this just has a little bit to glue on the back, but it doesn't really matter how much. So I'll just get my tacky glue, glue that strip, like I say it doesn't really matter which way they're glued down and as long as it's all sort of looks neat and that looks fine. So that just pulls out, you can journal on both the front and the back. And then it's just a matter of decorating the fronts up. I'll just glue this one in as well. And then we'll decorate the front. So there's two done now. And I'll get my envelope with my fussy cuts in. And see which will fit on. I made some little flowers when I cut these out of the bits of paper in between the fussy cuts. Just punched two together and stuck a pearl in the middle. So I keep those with them. And then I've got pearls, pearl flowers on as well. All right, let's see what will fit on. That one doesn't look too bad. Oh and then put some flowers on the top yeah i think that's what we'll do let's get some ink flowers don't stand out i found on the that one i inked the edges of the flowers and this one i didn't and you can't really see them very much so i'm just going to ink the edges
and uh, I'll just use three on one of them. Is that going to be okay? Or oh, shall we find something else? Oh, I like that one with the little birds on. Little blue birds. It's Mother's Day here in Spain today, so and the shops were all shut yesterday for Labour Day and so it's a big family day for Spanish families today and it's nice weather so they'll no doubt all be gathering just put three flowers on there I love thinking of new ways to use all my scraps of paper I've been making, uh, gluing a lot of them up yesterday, making these. That's one that I made. That's just stuck on a piece of A4 paper that um, I use in my printer. I never waste paper, so I, if it doesn't print out very well, I'll use the other side. So that can be cut up and used for tags. Or I will use... This is the book I've been keeping at the side of me, which is all gone now. All the pages have been used, but I use it for gluing now. So that's just stays at the side of me. So that's another book just done. The journaling space. And I think it's fine just having the inside of the book page. It doesn't really matter or you could decorate it up. And this is another one. So that's just one more idea. And thanks for joining me today. And I would love it if you click the subscribe button. And I will see you next time. Bye.